Hey everybody, last week I did a how-to video on making your own spinner lures, and this week I'm going to show you a technique for making lures out of wood. This slow sinking lure can be made by carving wood into a fish-like shape with a groove for steel wire and a slot for a plastic rudder. When in the water, the lure wobbles like a real fish. If you're new to this channel, make sure to click subscribe because I'll be doing a lure giveaway in my next video. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to take some wood, turn it into a lure. I'm gonna take these out to the table saw. I'm just gonna cut a groove in both of them. Okay, it's a half an inch. So we just want that blade to be centered, centered on a quarter inch. That's a quarter inch. Good. now. It's all just whatever you want it to do. The 40 looks good. And you spin it around, do 50 on the other side. So they go from an inch and a half all the way up. I made a four inch all the way up to eight inches. So I'm gonna make some big ones too. That's gonna be fun. So yeah, now all we've gotta do is shape the edges and make them look a little bit more fishy. So let's do it. So I have been hand sanding them and hand carving them just to make that first one. But I'm gonna see if the grinder won't be a little bit faster to get these shaped. So let's start with the five inch. about 20 minutes and I have all these guys done so these are almost ready for wire we just need to sand them a little bit smoother I'm just gonna take some itty grit sandpaper I'm gonna take some 240 and just polish it You're gonna go right about to the top of that curve where you're gonna to wanna to put your rudder. Cut a slot with the coping saw. And just pop these guys out. Right with the green. Now you've got your slot. So the next step, this is your plastic and you can use any clear any clear plastic here pop off a chunk any kind of plastic and you want this to be directly across from here so that it'll be a fan shape go ahead and do an angle like that and then you've got that shape Okay, so now I'm gonna get my wire and I'm gonna chop out a piece. I'm gonna start it out, just make a loop for the nose and pinch it pretty small. Hold it over itself a couple times, trim it. So you feed it through inside there then with it just sitting there, you pinch the end, 
and start making that bed and take it out. Bend it over itself and pinch it. And hold it on there. Okay, so the rudder's right there. We want the middle hook to be right about here. Pinch it with your finger. Pinch both sides if you can. You just go, you go up and you go down. You don't want this to come down too far. It's just about like that. Loop it back over again. And clip it, clip it tight. You wanna pinch this so that it's, it'll fit inside that channel. So that's the shape you're gonna have for your wire that goes inside your lure. Take your rudder, cut a little slot for it to go through that wire, right in the middle. Okay, you're ready to put these three pieces together. What I'm gonna use to do that is some really cool, really cool product that I just found out about. Um, it's called Steel Stick. It's an epoxy reinforced with steel. It's got some weight to it, so it lets these lures sink a little bit. They're kind of like a, kind of like a countdown. Um, so it sinks like a foot a second. If you want it to float, you can fill it with wood putty. You mix it with your hands. It's a putty. It's an epoxy putty. So put on some gloves. I'm going to cut off about a quarter inch or something like that. It's got this black and this gray. All you do is just knead it together. You knead it until it's all one color. Then I'm going to roll it. Now we're going to put it in the slot. This stuff dries in five minutes, so you got to be pretty quick. So I'm going to just kind of push it, get it going down in there. Okay. Now I'm going to put the wire in. Make sure you have it going in the right direction. Take your plastic piece and push that in. I want to make sure there's enough of that putty on that plastic in there. Use a little scrap piece of wood to get this in here. Make sure it's uh, square and everything. Just adjust it a little bit. This stuff is already starting to tighten up. So before it fully dries, you want to tune this guy again, so it's pretty crooked. Tune it. So once, it's, once it's set, it's set. Keep working it until it's sandable. So that's how fast it sets. It is set. So you got it set in stone now. While it's still kind of drying, Take your knife and just go clean it up a little. Just need to sand it and then you can paint it. Now we're gonna make this this big boy, this five inch. it a little bit 
And I'm gonna take that 240, polish it up, and then I'm gonna seal it with some chrome paint. the sealer dries you can start painting the colors of the fish. I use nail polish because my wife Kelsey has a ton of different colors already. I painted the 6 inch lure to look like a rainbow trout. Kelsey wanted to paint one too, which she colored to look like a brown trout. We'll have to wait and see which lure gets the first bite. It's so satisfying to catch a fish with your own creation. looking painted lure. Time to add the hooks. So there's the finished product with some number 10 hooks. I'm afraid to even put it in the water it looks so nice. Alright so there's the six inch rainbow with number eight hooks on it. Three of them. Can't wait to try this out. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you would like to see more content like this, make sure to click subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when a new video comes out. I'm planning on making a bunch more of these lures and will be doing a lure giveaway in my next video. So stay tuned and you might be one of the lucky subs to get a one-of-a-kind lure. See you next time. Peace.